Hello there, my name is Teddy Tedesi. Today we're delving into the Essential SQL Server Toolkit. We'll explore top DMV queries and stored procedures that are indispensable for DBAs and developers in their day-to-day -day operations. From retrieving system-level information about your SQL Server instance to understanding the structure of a specific database, we're covering the gamut. So buckle up as we embark on this journey to make your database management tasks more efficient and effective. Stay tuned. Let's start with the SCLOS property query. This query, select all from SysDiMO sysinfo, retrieves a wide range of system-level information about the SQL Server instance, including CPU, memory, and SQL Server's resource allocation. The SysDiMO sysinfo dynamic management view contains rows that surface operating system-level properties important for SQL Server. So, this query is more than just a command, it's a handy tool for getting system-level information about your SQL Server instance. Next, we have the Windows Operating System Query. This isn't your typical TSQL query but a PowerShell command using the Windows Management Instrumentation, or WMI for short. With it you can pull up details about the Windows Operating System installed on your machine. This includes things like the version, build number, and system architecture. By running the get WMI object win32 underscore operating system command in PowerShell, you'll have all this information at your fingertips. With this command you can fetch details about your Windows operating system. Now, let's move on to retrieving SQL Server version and addition. For this we'll use the server property function. It's a handy tool that returns the value of the specified property. So when you need to check your SQL Server's product version, product level, or even the addition, this function has you covered. Just run the following query. Select server property, product version, as product version, server property, product level, as product level, server property, edition, as edition. This query is essential for understanding your SQL Server instance. Let's proceed to retrieving databases information. As a DBA or developer, it's crucial to have a clear overview of all your databases, their states, and compatibility levels. This is where the Sias.databases dynamic management view comes in handy. By running the following query, select, this will list all databases on your SQL Server instance. The name column represents the database name, state underscore desk, displays the current state of the database. It could be online, restoring, or any other possible state. The compatibility underscore level column indicates the version of SQL Server with which the database is compatible. This query is a powerful tool to help you keep track of all your databases, their operational statuses, and compatibility levels. Remember, understanding your databases is the first step towards managing them effectively. Next, we will retrieve server configuration settings. One of the essential tools in our SQL Server Toolkit is the Stored Procedure SP underscore configure. This nifty little command is like a key that unlocks a treasure trove of information about your SQL Server's current configuration settings. Think of it as your personal tour guide, taking you on a journey through the server level options. It can show you settings like max degree of parallelism, which gives you an insight into how SQL Server balances the workload of your queries. It can also reveal memory settings, offering a glimpse into SQL Server's memory management. To use this command, all you need to do is type exec sp underscore configure into your query window and hit execute. Like magic, a list of your server's current configuration settings will appear before your eyes. This command is useful for understanding your server level options. So the next time you find yourself wondering about your server's configuration, remember sp underscore configure is your friend. Finally, let's retrieve information about tables in a specific database. Now, this is where things get interesting. We're not just looking at the system as a whole, we're diving into the specifics of a database, peering into its structure, and understanding its very fabric. So what's the magic spell? Here it is, use your database name, select schema, underscore name, schema underscore ID, as schema, name as table name from sys.tables. You might want to replace your database name with the name of your database. This query will list all the tables within that database along with their schema names. It's like opening a treasure chest and seeing all the jewels neatly laid out. This query isn't just useful, it's essential. It gives you a clear, organized perspective of a database, making it easier to navigate and work with. So next time you're exploring a new database, remember this little gem. It's your key to understanding the structure of any database. And that concludes our exploration of the Essential SQL Server Toolkit. We've delved into the top DMV queries and stored procedures, 
all vital for both DBAs and developers in their day-to-day -day operations. From retrieving system-level information to getting detailed insights about your databases and tables, these tools are key to efficient and effective SQL Server management. So, keep these queries handy and watch your productivity soar. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video. Stay focused and keep learning.